there. If you're here, you already know that you'll be writing a feature article for your final ministry exam in Enriched English as a Second Language. Today's video will focus on giving you a preparation timeline before the exam. Some of the specific concepts in this video will be covered in more depth in other videos. Being prepared is key to success. Our timeline is just a suggestion to help you get ready. You're also free to follow your own plan. Let's get started. First, you should make sure you understand the concepts of audience, purpose, and angle, which will guide your writing later on. Then, make sure you know all the mandatory components of the structure of a feature article, which are a catchy headline, a secondary headline, an interesting lead, a close, at least one direct or indirect quotation, two additional components like an image, a pull quote, or a sidebar. All these components are explained in more depth in some of our other videos, so be sure to watch those if needed. Next, it's time for some real practice. You should select a topic you're interested in, for example, climate change. Do some research on it and try writing a complete feature article about this topic. Once written, seek feedback from your teacher or anyone you trust. As a final step, before receiving the preparation booklet, you should try to write a second feature article. So, select a new topic you're interested in, for example, cybersecurity. Adjust your writing according to what you learned from writing the first feature article. Again, Seek feedback to understand what could be improved. In May, the real fun begins when you receive the official preparation booklet about a week before the ministry exam. Inside the booklet, you will find many different texts all related to a common topic. On top of that, you'll also find a guiding question. This guiding question isn't exactly the angle you'll have to write your feature article with but it will help you annotate and anticipate what's to come and prepare accordingly. And finally, in June, it will be your final evaluation of the Enriched English as a Second Language program. You can watch the video that focuses on what to expect on Evaluation Day.